Hi there. What I wanted to show you today was um, a part, a tool that I made from some scraps in the garage and uh, and just a few, I think six dollars worth of uh, worth of parts. So I don't know if you can tell what this is, but um, this is a circle cutter for my plasma torch, which will allow me to um, hopefully create some some very accurate circles um, out of metal. So let's take a look at, at what I used to make it and how it's made and then we will um, go do a test run. I haven't tried it yet. So what, what I did is uh, I used this one inch um, steel rod from the garage. I found this piece, it was longer obviously because I cut some out of it um, over by the train tracks. So, so I used that, um, had some one inch tubing in the garage as well and a scrap piece um, that I've had in there for a while. Don't even know where it came from, but it's a little rusty. Um, so let's, let me show you what, you know, what this thing is made out of. Uh, the main body, of course, was cut out of the solid one inch rod and it's got a 5 16 hole drilled all the way down through the center what I did is drilled a, uh, obviously a little smaller hole and then threaded it. I don't know if you can see the threads in there, but this um, this hole is threaded all the way through through to the bottom of the top section, and of course drilled a um, eight millimeter hole because I had some eight millimeter rod in the garage as well for this this adjustable part that can you know slide to whatever diameter you want to cut a hole to. Um, I think this thing is a total of 13 or 14 inches long, so up to maybe a 26 inch circle I could cut. Um, this locking cap um, was actually cut out of the same one inch solid rod. Drilled a 5 16 hole through there, um, cut a piece of 5 16 threaded rod, and then plug welded it from behind, cleaned it up with the grinder and on the lathe, and produced the locking nut. So that's what uh, that's what's going to hold this piece. Once you decide what your diameter is, that's going to hold that in place. You just tighten that down, and now this can't move and it can't turn. So the bottom part, of course, is made is hollow. It's made out of this uh, this tubing piece, and. Uh, it's, it's got this hole that I cut out of the scrap here um, that's welded onto the top and then I drilled a hole through it so what's, what happens is we got a bolt that goes through through here into the main body uh, stops obviously short of this rod going across um, and that holds and in between these two pieces of course is these thrust bearings that I put in there and on the bottom is a neodymium magnet so that it will stick to the metal and be, give you a solid center to turn around. Uh, this, this piece here is just a uh, set screw collar, one inch that fits the, the torch head perfectly. And so I just welded that onto the end of the eight inch, um, eight millimeter rod. So that's, that's how it's made. It's pretty solid. Um, it just, to wherever you want it to go and you put your torch head in there and you start the cut and you just go on a complete complete circle and you get a perfect circle now, I haven't actually tried it so let's go into the garage and give it a shot okay before we get started in the garage here um, just show you the plasma cutter uh, that's that's the plasma cutter there with the um, clamp that's the ground clamp and the torch that will hopefully fit into the circle cutter. This is the air compressor that will drive the uh, plasma cutter. Plasma cutter runs on an electrical arc which basically liquefies the metal and then a blast of compressed air blows the metal out the other side and that's how it cuts. Okay, let's cut a circle.
So we have it circle cut out of another circle, but out of one eighth inch. Now we have a ring and a circle. I'd say it's a success.